And then um, Dana one day surprised me with this. May I see? He made me this little custom plate right here. It's pretty sweet. Tank. Yeah. And then the suspension you can see poking through the back also is the function form type twos. Okay. I have like custom spring race on those as well. What other suspension goodies do you have? The custom underneath the car is a company um, that used to be called Ramson Engineering. Mm -hmm. He no longer has business anymore. He was such a really cool guy, man. He just, when I told him I was doing this whole project, um, rebuilding of the car, he got really involved with the project and he gave me all the, his custom, uh, the lower control arms and then the, also the core support in the middle. And he had it all powder coated, um, dangle orange for me. So, I mean, everything is all from him. And I don't know, even know how many other people even have this under brace underneath the car because I haven't ever seen it before right. on the car. So right after I got his stuff from him, um, he kind of just had some issues with his company and just um, they closed mm. it down. So it's unfortunate. It's but fortunate, yeah. It's one of those things that it's real special to me and I probably will never want to take it off the car because I know it's like probably one of the, one of the only few out there that's ever made, you know, so. Wow. And then um, I'm running like, um, also I'm running in the back also is the, the subframe bar, we see those are all pretty much all the subframe bar is all ramps. Everything, the whole components in the back is all ramps and stuff. And then for the sway bar, I'm running the blocks, sway bar in the back. And then all the coilovers, everything's all functioning for them. <laughs> and then also converted this car rear disc. Oh, for the interior, um, since I did the cage, mm -hmm. we had to delete the, the armrest on this car. It wouldn't close? I couldn't close the door. Mm -hmm. So that was one of the things I kind of just initially didn't really plan on happening, but it just did, you know. So I ended up deleting the armrest part of it, and then um, I got a. I just put in a power mirror, um, power windows. I mean, power windows set up on this car. So now I have. Is that in the center? Yeah, I just put it in the okay. center. Yeah. So just walk us through cage, everything. I so mean, it's a lot. <laughs> yeah. So the cage is like you see. Just this is the rest of the AC setup you can see in the front. It comes all the way to the front of the car. Drops right in the front of the dash. And then um, these are my status seats. Um, I recently actually just had them um, custom wrapped in the camo. Nice. Yeah, man, they came out really awesome. Nice it was like one touch. of the things I always wanted to do, and I finally got in touch with them, and they finally made it happen. Nice and then touch. another one of my favorite things on the car I just used it recently is the hybrid racing um, shifter. That thing is just a work of art, man. I think it's so beautiful, dude. And then what else we got on the car? And then another thing I was gonna show my boy Brandon, he did my um, push button start on the car. So that was another thing I totally like, love every time I get in the car, man. It's like, just it's like right there in the corner, you can see it. Can I pedals are those? Yeah, so those are, um, um, I gotta, I gotta lock it on that one. You'll come back, <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Okay. What kind of gauge is this? Ruben, Ruben from, um, it's all cool. It's cool. I, I think of it. I'll tell you. I forgot. So just uh, gauges. R fab. There you go. So, so that's um those those pedals are actually custom pedals from um Ruben from R fab. R fab. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So those are all he did the dead pedal for me as well too. So matching dead pedal as well. And then this is the J Racing steering wheel. It's actually been signed by the president of Jay's Racing, Hisaki. Oh, no way. That's yeah, cool. it's pretty cool, man. I got to meet him actually a couple years back at Eibach. That's awesome. So that was pretty awesome, man. I finally got to meet him. And then... And then... Gauges. Got, a, got an old school double-din set up in the car, too, as well. Those are all thanks to my boys at Auto Fashion. And as you can see, like, one of my one of my really, like, old school things in this car that is very sentimental to me is my, my VAFC. Even though I don't ever use it anymore. But <laughs> my friend John, um, he put that in my car. Passed away back in 06. Oh, One of my wow. best friends, man. So he's like pretty much the first guy ever like to even, you know, wrench on this car. Work on this car with you. Yeah, so that was like one of the coolest things we ever did on that car. Because then when I first saw my B16 motor, we just wanted a VTEC controller. So he put that mounted out exactly in that where the radio goes. And ever since then, it just like, it just sits there, man. I just, I mean, it still turns on, everything still works. But it's like one of those things everyone always asks me, why do you have VACs in this car? Yeah, you're on, you're on Honda. Sentimental. Yeah, it's just like a sentimental so yeah. car, man. It's just like, you know. I always kept in here. Another like old school flavor thing I have in this car still is my Monster Tack. You know, almost the guys these days are all using all those AM gauges and all the crazy like, you know, digital like clusters and all that stuff. But I kind of want to still keep the old school flavor of this car. I just recently picked up the Omni um, cluster as well too. It's pretty cool, the Omni um, Tack. 
So I still, I'm running my monster tag, and then I'm running the Omni tag as well too. So kind of the monster tag is kind of like a sentimental thing for me too. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna kind of just keep it there. Oh. It's beautiful. And I got the superhero um, shift boot delete factory armrest. Jay's racing floor mats. Like so much. So, so yeah, it's cool because it's just a trip still like to live when I get still when I get in this car because I'm so used to my car always being fully gutted, no carpet, mm -hmm. nothing. So, but like now that like I said, it's going on me a lot, man. I love the whole full interior look, you know, with the carpet, everything. So uh, we're all happens. This is the heart. So yeah. Tell us, man. We, we, there's a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What do you got going on, man? So this is my GSR motor, two liter. It's an 85 mil, 89 stroke. Um, compression is about 12 volt. So. Ooh. My initial plan with this build was um, I wanted a car where I could just pump, just use pump gas. So we made the compression right at that point where I don't need race gas. So the car is still on pump gas. Um, I don't have to go put any race gas. My other cars before I always have to go to get race gas put in them and stuff. So this it motor, gets tedious after a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and then, you know, if More you power, but it gets tedious. Yeah. yeah. So I just wanted to just set up where I could, if I run into any gas station, I could just roll in there and just put gas in my car. So that was my whole initial plan on this build. You know? So. But I still wanted to make the power, so they just recently um, retuned this car and made um, 243. Wow. Yeah, 243, and then uh, 150 pounds, 150 foot pounds of torque. Wow. Yeah. So maybe things um, Dana did for me on this car from ASC. It's a custom strut bar. I always wanted something just uh, something different, man. Like, you know, like you know, a lot of times everyone pops their hood is always it was running the same old, you know, strut right. bars and stuff. So. I always wanted something I could just have different on my car. It's so, definitely different. Yeah, so Dana came up with this design, and then um, I told him, hey, let's just really, really make it mine. Let's just put the tank plaque in the middle, too, as well. So he designed that for me as well. And no biggie, just, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, you did the bad. You don't ask favors, but when you do, it's like, <laughs> make yeah. it work. The wing, the, the brake. He's an artist, man. You just give him the vision, and then he'll just put it on paper. You know, he'll make it happen, man. So he's amazing, dude. And another one of my favorite things is his logo right here with the skull. It's so rad, dude. It's a lot of work. Sometimes. So we did that on the car. Um, I decided to run the the Ultra intake manifold for the Skunk one for this car. Because my goal was at one point I wanted to kind of go back to turbo someday maybe. Mm -hmm. So this is the reason why I kind of decided to go with this manifold. I could have gone with the smaller one, but I wanted to kind of stick with the setup because if I ever do decide to boost this car in the future, I definitely have the right manifold to go that route. Right. And then I'm running all the... Um, the fuel filter in the back, the regulator, the BDL is one of my old school parts. Still have on this car, man. This is like when BDL was still around, so that was like their fuel regulator right there. Running the skunk mat on um, throttle body. That's radium engineering fuel filter in the back. Um, Greg made me that custom um, Go Auto Works oil catch can. And then another thing happened too was um, when we um, when I ran the that manifold mm -hmm. I was having some clearance issues so Eric actually made me this custom um, intake pipe as well to kind of make my clearance better so this is all custom by him as well I love how you guys went with the black yeah yeah you know it's funny because like, if you would have seen my car a couple of years back everything was polished mm. and when you have everything polished it's really the far as like keeping it maintained and stuff is really hard man as soon as you wipe it you get scratches everywhere mm -hmm. so I decided just want to turn everything black it just as far as keeping it maintained, it's like right. clean, it's so much, much easier. easier, man. That looks nice, though. It looks really and then the the tranny, the block, everything is all powder coated as well. <laughs> so it's not paint; it's actually been powder coated. I'm running a ride wire harness on this car as well, with the Honda a COP setup, coil and plug setup. This was another cool thing too. Everybody always asks us about it. What is this? This is just a uh, Eric actually CNC this piece on here. It's like a cover for my distributor. Oh, wow. I'm running and running the distributor pretty much anywhere, but all the guts and stuff is still on the mm -hmm. inside of it. So he actually custom made that piece for me as well on a CNC machine. And then I'm running the Go Auto Works um, radiator because I'm wanting a black one too. So I decided to go with his radiator. It's awesome. Spall fan. I had a lot of cooling issues with the car. So ever since I switched over to the spall fan, man, it's been awesome. And this radiator has been doing a really good job keeping mm -hmm. the car really cool at the track and stuff. It was that day I was at the track, I didn't have any cooling issues. issues. No, everything car stayed nice and cool. 
Oh, this is another old school piece that I had in my car for years. This is my Vibrant Tiny Bell Tensioner. Gotta thank my boy Donovan for that. I got that from him years ago. Then I got the ATI, um, you got the pulley right there as well, too. So the harmonic balance pulley. Oh, old school pieces. And as you can see, also, if you look through here, you can see like all my steering rack, everything's been powder coated. We got the gold, um, the heat, all the stuff on the, on the back firewall as well, too. So it just keeps all the heat going inside the car. This stuff really works, man. Attention to detail is crazy. Thanks, brother. And then also, another thing I did on this car, too, was um, since I had a lot of, for some reason, I kept my battery kept draining a lot in this car. We couldn't figure out what was finally pretty much draining it from my battery. So Roy decided to um, go with the setup. So Eric and Roy actually designed the simple speed on garage, pretty much like his kill switch. So pretty much when I put this thing in off mode, it pretty much kills my um, my positive and negative on so the car. No so there's no there's no drain anywhere from the car anymore. It just literally kills everything. So that's cool. Ever since then I've been doing that and I haven't really had any battery issues anymore. So I mean my car can sit for the longest time. And I could just put it in on mode and the car would probably fire wow. right back up. Yeah. So that was one another coolest thing we did on the car, which helped out as far as maintenance wise. And I'm running the Skunk 2 header. Um it just pops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this is another one of my old school parts on this car. Probably can't even find it anymore, is my BDO cam sprockets. I'm running the Frank's, Frank um, Downstar too as well, the sprocket bolts, man. I think just kind of like just set it off when I put that on there. So, innovative mounts, innovative. running those. I gotta give a big shout out to my boy Dave at Import Auto Pros, man. He's the one that pretty much tuned my car here, so he's the one that got it running really nice. He's my go-to guy whenever I have any maintenance issues with the car, you know, if I need to get something to tune and dialed in. That's a go-to guy for Yeah, you. dude, definitely. Cool. And I got all the little G's racing accessories here and there. And then this Cam. was Cam. and then this was like an old school thing we did back in the day with Skunk 2. So they had like a Skunk 2 certified team Skunk 2. So Dave at Dave and Brian, um, Brandon when Brandon was still working there, um, they made those plaques for all the guys that were actually part of that program. Which is pretty cool. Well, that's some old school stuff. I yeah, think. man, that's like something like I've always been proud of, man. Being part of that group, man, it's pretty cool. And then, um, Saki also signed a hook for me as well over here too. <laughs> I, ran, I ran into him again at another event. <laughs> you again? <laughs> yeah, I was like, dude, can you please sign up for me? And he came up. He's really, dude. He's such a nice guy. He just came up to me and was like, yeah, yeah no problem. So he just signed it. And then I'm running the, the blocks. It's like another old school piece. I don't know if they still make these or not. It's a, the traction bar. Mm -hmm. Running that. And then the the tranny is a GSR tranny. Um, it's got ATS four nine five on the drive. Yeah. And then ITR LSD. So. Well, what kind of clutch are you running? Um, the clutch is like really old, man. That's another thing I've been. I needed to probably change sooner or later. But um, it's from an old company. I don't know if anybody remembers it or not, but. His name was Brian from Clutch Specialties. I think his shop closed down years ago, okay. so I haven't heard from him in years. But that clutch has been in that car since I've been turbo. It was working. And it's still working. So, <laughs> you know, so I know it's time probably sooner or soon to be, you know, have it like, you know, change. But it's held up for all these years, you know, it just shows it was like a real good product. But yeah, so that's probably my next upgrade I need to do is probably, you know, get a good, get a good strong clutch cam in this car. But I mean, overall, man, it's like we pretty much we did this whole car, you know, like from from top to bottom, everything's been changed. Mm -hmm. Well, alrighty, Mike, uh, thank you so much for making time for us and explaining your car. Uh, what are the future plans for it? And any shout outs? Yeah, yeah. So um, I think I eventually like I think I missed the the whole boost. Oh boy, this car. I think, I, <laughs> I think someday I don't know when this was gonna happen, but I think eventually I, I plan on probably boosting this car again. I just don't know when that, that will happen, but. But I'm more going towards uh, probably like probably supercharging the car more than like actually turboing it. Okay. So something different that I haven't done yet. Okay. So that's always been something I always kind of like had a lot of interest in. I've never tried it before. So I think for the motor setup that I have now, I 
think the supercharger supercharger route will probably be more and more efficient way of doing things. A little more unique as well. Yeah, as well. So, uh, hey, shout out! I know you have a lot. Man. So yeah, yeah he I comes ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> um, you don't have to be too specific, so you don't leave somebody out. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. So yeah, obviously, I shout out to my boy Roy at Simple Speak Garage. Man, this dude's always been there for me, man. You know, like so that's my boy right there. You know, the wing. You know, all the other custom stuff we've done on the car. Um, my boy David Import Auto Pro has always been there for me. You know, taking care of the car and maintaining everything. Of course, my friend Eric at Street Image, you know, all the restoration projects that he did with his car, you know, it's all thanks to him, man, you know, like it's all, you know, his crazy OCD and my OCD together, man, that's, this is how this thing came out, like the, the way it is today, you know, so um, my boy Nick at Mayhem Metalworks, Jay's Racing, uh, Pit Crew, um, Falcon Tires for my tires, my sponsorship, you know, they're always going to support my AC Fabrication, Toronto Aero Duo. Um, go Auto Works. I mean, I got like um, Ride Wire Ryan, you know, got Status Racing, man. I can go all day, man. It's like I got so many, so much love, man. Everyone's been always been supportive of this build, right. and it means the world to me, man. It's like I got to thank everyone. It's always been part of this stunt, too. You know, Frank Downstar, you know, like he's always been there, too, as well, too. Um, oh, man, you just go all day. Hybrid Racing, um, I guys give them a shout out also, as well. They just hooked me up recently with the, with the ship to set up. Amazing. Um, I don't know, man. I can go all day, man. I gotta think of like, I gotta look at my car. I think and think of all the stuff in my mind because not everyone's popping up my head. On um, radium engineering, you know, they always been there. You know, they always hooking up with all the goodies. Um, well, if you know you helped out, you know that you're thankful. That's, that's yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you guys. I mean, I try in the video. I try to talk about everyone. You know, so I guess I just gotta thank everyone for all the love and support. They've always been there for me. They're always never gave up on this car, and they always knew that I would always gonna come out again with something more crazier and crazier every time so you know, I appreciate everyone's love and support cool and, man well Mike anyway, thank you again man, no thank you bro. man I appreciate it's you so rad, man it's like for me to be on your um, channel it's like pretty exciting man I can't wait to watch the video bro. like <laughs> you're do you think you're excited holy crap <laughs> thank you Mike I appreciate it man.